Today my guest is Brian Jacket. Brian, how are you? Good, Dave. How's it going? It's been going well. I'm really enjoying centralohiodea.net. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry I missed your talk. I was doing my talk at the same time. Understandable. It's always What's, one of those uh, comments. You were talking about uh, a couple things, actually. You combined PowerShell and SharePoint together. That's correct. Let's just talk about PowerShell for this. So we'll, we'll do SharePoint another time. Mm -hmm. um, what is PowerShell? So PowerShell is a command line product um, from Microsoft. Uh, it's basically like replacing your command line, um, but it allows you to do things with uh, .NET objects, uh, be able to script things, um, get a lot of your job done quicker and more efficiently. All right, what do people use that for? Uh, I use it personally for SharePoint, for Active Directory. Um, you can even use it for SQL Server, uh, for Exchange, a lot of other server-grade products. So you're talking about uh, basically building scripts to automate some administrative tasks? Mm -hmm. uh, give me an example of uh, a task that you've used in the real world to automate using PowerShell. So as a developer, a lot of times you know we're tearing down and recreating environments for ourselves. Um, so like in SharePoint, I'll go ahead and delete out my entire site collection, recreate it, um, populate users in there, put in permissions, things that by hand would take you know, 10 minutes up to half an hour. But instead, I can just run one script and be done with it in about two minutes. Uh, so let me ask you this. Why are you using PowerShell today? Why aren't you writing a .NET application to do that? Uh, well, I first heard about PowerShell uh, probably about two years ago uh, from Todd Clint, who's a SharePoint MVP. Um, and I was at TechEd, and he was explaining why PowerShell is you know, very quick. Um, with a .NET application, you have to fire up Visual Studio, got to create a console application, you have to then pass it off to you know, whatever server you're going to be working with. Um, with PowerShell, it's directly on the server. You know, I don't have to have Visual Studio installed, I don't need to copy files. Uh, if I need to change that application, you know, what I'm looking for or what's actually running, um, I can just do it on the fly. You know, so instead of having to go through multiple iterations, uh, instead I can just very quickly make my changes um, and run you know, and get my information back. Walk me through this, uh, how you as a developer create a PowerShell script. Are you not using Visual Studio for that? No, I don't use Visual Studio. Uh, there's two ways that you can create your scripts. Um, first is the PowerShell console, um, very similar to like your command line. And then there's also the PowerShell ISE, which is the integrated scripting environment. Um, very similar to uh, Visual Studio. Uh, you can see your console output, you can see your scripts, and you can see your command line all at once. Uh, and these are, are installed with Visual Studio or downloadable from somewhere? Uh, completely separate, actually. Okay, where do you get those from? Um, so for PowerShell version 2, um, you're going to look for what's called the Windows Management Framework. Uh, and this includes PowerShell, um, the ISC, as well as uh, Windows Remote Management. This is something you download from Microsoft? Correct. Okay, so you do a Bingle search on that? Bingle. <laughs> and uh, yeah. get with that and find it there. Okay. Right. Um, all right, so these are IDE environments. So you choose one. And it's sort of, it's sort of like uh, any other IDE file, new project. And right. Start uh, scripting away. Um, with the ISC, you even get debugging. Um, so you can actually go through and see, you know, as you're executing your commands, what's actually happening, investigate things. Okay. Um, is, it, uh, is it .NET code that you're writing, or is it a special scripting language that's on? So natively it's going to be in PowerShell commandlets, um, but because it's a .NET um, object-oriented command line, um, you can interact with any kind of .NET objects, whether that's SMTP, whether that's uh, your SharePoint, um, SQL Server, anything in the .NET libraries at all. Oh, okay. as, as long as you get your references to them, just like Visual Studio, you can interact with those .NET objects. And you use the word commandlet. What is a commandlet? Commandlet, uh, you can think of this as um, when you're on your command line, you know, for DOS, um, when you type in like dir, you know, your simple commands that you run natively on the DOS shell, um, these are the exact same kind of things for PowerShell. So they usually go with a verb hyphen noun. Um, so things like get child item, set location, um, just very basic uh, structures and commands that you run. Okay. Um, and this differs uh, not only the, uh, th this sounds like when you run it, it sounds like you're just executing uh, commands like batch file commands, which I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's not, it's, there's, there's a lot of differences between that and batch file, not only in, in the language that you can use to write it, but also in what they return, right? Right. So with batch commands, you're getting back straight text. So you have to know that when you're looking at the output on column 40, it's going to be a directory, and column 42 means that it's read or write. Um, with, with PowerShell, you actually get back those .NET objects, so you can tell that for a file, I've got properties for what are the permissions, you know, who has access to this, what are the different properties for what I'm looking at. So you call into those directly, and you have access to all the methods too. So okay. you can delete, create, uh, make modifications. So what, when you call one command, it might return an object. You can use that object to call other uh, methods within that object. Correct. All right. And can you just string these together? Yes. Um, that's what's called the PowerShell um, pipeline. Uh, so you can take the output from one command as the input to the next. So, for instance, if you're doing like a uh, directory listing, 
you can then sort that, you could filter it, you could say, you know, delete all of these objects that I've got um, from my query. Ah, okay. Um, what if I, uh, if I want to learn this more? What's, mm. the, what's a good resource to go to? I said definitely see one of my talks. But, one of uh, your talks. Right. <laughs> um, um, you missed the one at Central Ohio. Yeah. Where are you going to be next? Uh, so you can go to the Microsoft Script Center. Um, just do a search for that. Uh, they've got a lot of resources for beginning tutorials, um, just interacting with the file system, then slowly moving on to .NET objects and libraries. Um, and also then they go into specific categories. So if you want to learn about SQL Server, or Exchange, or SharePoint, um, they break down examples for, hey, I want to create a new user in Active Directory. How do I do that? Okay. And then they'll give you the script for it. You can take that, modify it, do whatever you want with it. Yeah, that reminds me, there's actually a lot of the these uh, scripts or commandlets built into a lot of these products. So IIS ships with them, much, doesn't it? Correct. Um, so for SharePoint 2010, for SQL Server 08, um, and Exchange 2007 or 8, I forget which version, um, they've got native commandlets that do a lot of the functionality that you're looking for. So for SQL Server, you can interact with databases. Um, you can create you know, security permissions directly through PowerShell commandlets. OK. All right. And uh, where are you speaking next? Uh, next, possibly at SharePoint 70 New York, um, but for sure uh, SP TechCon in Boston. Awesome. You have an online presence too, don't you? I do. <laughs> uh, Brian T. Jacket, J A C K E T T. Um, Twitter handle, it's also my domain for my blog. Uh, you can find me a lot of places. Awesome. Brian, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dave. Enjoy the conference. Thanks.